Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss what's new with SAP HANA SPS 11. In this video we will take a look at the new features for SAP HANA for high availability and disaster recovery. Most of you will probably already know that high availability, HA, and disaster recovery are closely related. You obtain high availability, say 99.9% .9 uptime, by making sure that planned and unplanned downtime is kept to a minimum. Unplanned downtime can be reduced by architecting your system such that it is protected against minor incidents. For example, running SAP HANA as a distributed system with multiple hosts will guarantee that the system will be up even if a single node fails. Disaster recovery takes this a step further with a system design that can handle the loss of a complete data center. SAP HANA system replication to another data center, for example, a standby system could cover this. Okay, so what's new for HA and DR? First, with SPS 11, continuous log replay is introduced. Continuous log replay is commit-based system replication. So when a transaction commits on a primary host, the log data will be shipped over and the transaction will commit on the secondary host as well. This reduces takeover time and network traffic. We can see this here, data shipping in gray with peaks, log shipping in yellow, it's a continuous stream, there are no more peaks. I'm connected here to a Windows computer and I've started SAP HANA Studio. The configuration steps have not changed. First you enable it on the primary host and then you register the standby host. And for this, the standby or secondary host needs to be stopped. Today you can configure system replication on the command line and with HANA Studio. There's no support for the web client yet. However, as we now have SAP HANA cockpit in offline mode as well, new with SPS 11 to start and stop and troubleshoot HANA systems using the SAP host agent, I would expect web configuration of sister replication as well in some future HANA release, but I'm not the product manager, so we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's configure system replication. Select next, provide a system logical name. This could be the host name. This could also be some alternative name. I'll use here the location, Berlin. The date of the last data backup will be displayed. New as of SPS 11 is that instead of a data backup, you can also use a system snapshot, which will be a bit quicker. Select next, review the settings and click finish and system replication will be enabled on our primary system. Then we configure our secondary site, which needs to be stopped. Again, only one action is possible to register. Provide a logical name. I'll use the location again. Replication mode has not changed. Sync, sync mem or async, sync mem being the default. What has changed is the operation mode. Default is Delta data shipping the original mode and now we also can select lock replay. Select the source host, review the summary and click finish to enable system replication. Again all system setup steps are the same except then for the replication mode. If you would do this on the command line and here we're looking at the administration guide the parameter is operation mode and the value would be a lock replay. The old mode parameter is now called replication mode with the setting sync, sync mem, and a sync, and the values have not changed, just the parameter name. Next topic, monitoring secondary sites. SPS 11 introduces remote SQL access on the primary site to the secondary site for monitoring and reporting. Let's switch to our HANA system again. Note that on the primary system, we now have a schema called sys SR site and then the site name, where site name is the case sensitive name that was used to register the secondary site. When we open the schema, you can see that it contains a subset of the typical monitoring views and the statistics are taken from the secondary site in this proxy schema. Retrieval of statistics is unaffected 
by the replication mode or the operation mode and is available for both a two system replication setup as well as a multi-tier landscape. When the secondary site is unregistered, the schema will be dropped again. There are some limitations, so please check the administration guide, chapter monitoring system replication. As of SPS 10, of course, we can also monitor system replication using the SAP HANA cockpit, SAP HANA system replication tile, and this also provides us a good overview including a log file viewer. Next topic, the HADR provider. There is a new hook for this provider, SR connection changed. And here we see all the hooks available today with SPS 11. The provider was introduced with SPS 09, if not mistaken. When you install HANA, Python scripts are included, which you can adapt to your monitoring needs. This will make it possible, for example, to automatically start certain tools or application unhost after a failover has taken place. You can think about, for example, to stop the dev or QA environment on your standby site when it has been promoted to production. And you want to automate this, of course, as much as possible. So it will run smoothly when an issue occurs, even if it is in the middle of the night or if the DBA is completely stressed out. How to configure and implement HADR providers or hooks is documented in detail many examples in the SAP HANA Administration Guide, Chapter 5. Last topic, we already mentioned storage snapshot as replication source. What this means is that when you initiate system replication, when you start system replication, you will be prompted for a backup. If none is available, in the past it has to be a regular data backup. With SPS 11, storage snapshots can be used as well. There isn't a lot to show you on this new feature, as it will happen transparently in the background. Okay, what's new for SAP HANA SPS 11? High availability and disaster recovery is documented in the SAP HANA What's New Guide. More detailed information can be found in the Administration Guide. There are links in the What's New Guide pointing you to the right location. You can read or download these guides free of charge from the SAP Help Portal on help.sap.com. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.